Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome, welcome. I just want to give a shout out to the person who at least uploaded. I don't know if they made it, but that intro video that we just played. It's on a channel called Kiwi Clips. It's a video called Gunt Quest. Very funny edit. Uh, how's it going, everyone? We got Slovin Kalover, Chris, uh, Gord, Rusty T, and Lambert in the chat. We also have Rusty and Gord with us. How's it going, guys? How's it going, everyone? Up, up? So, Rusty wasn't here, but me, Gord, and Dragon, at a certain point in the stream, we popped in. We attempted to do the streams uh, a couple weeks ago, several weeks ago, however long ago it was. And we're redoing it now because uh, some people mentioned, and I had also felt myself, that it wasn't to the standards that we usually hold, our, hold ourselves to here. So, we're back. We've uh, got more information. We've... Um, worked on the document a little bit more and we have a pretty good stream here tonight we're going to be talking about this is the part this is part one because we are talking about basically the origin story and the rise you could say of ethan ralph also known as the ralph male also known as the gunt but we will get to that and uh his blog the ralph retort but mainly his uh, live stream infamous live stream series known as the kill stream yeah, we're going to be covering like the early days of the kill stream, uh, early Ethan Ralph, uh, some like Ethan Ralph lore. So we're like building up uh, to the next few streams uh, where the real, like, really like funny content is actually going to occur. The yeah. real rage pig is unleashed. <laughs> yeah, I see. Russ, I see. Uh, I see uh, Cyrax's Dorito bag in here. Sup for rage pig. <laughs> And let's see. I just want to pull up everything here, get it ready. Yeah. So, as you mentioned, we're going to talk about like early kill stream uh, days, but we're also going to talk about very briefly, a uh, briefly, holy shit, <clears throat> excuse me, very briefly, we're going to talk about Ralph's early life and like some information to kind of go over that. So, let me see here. Let me pull this up. Oh, here we go. Excellent. So. Here is a picture of Ralph as a baby with his allegedly abusive father, but we will get into that. Uh, Gord, do you want to read this uh, little blurb that you have here? I believe Ethan wrote this when he was a very young lad in college or so. Yeah, yeah, I got this pulled up. Um, so I found this on Encyclopedia Dramatica. I found this on the Kiwi Farms. Uh, this is some excerpt that uh, Ethan wrote probably for uh, you know his political science degree. Uh, so it, it goes, my name is Ethan. I recently graduated from the University of South Carolina upstate with a degree in political science. I live here in upstate now, but I'm originally from Memphis, Tennessee. By the way, that's a lie. He's from uh, he might have been born in Memphis, Tennessee, but that motherfucker's from West Memphis, Arkansas. The first of many lies. Yes. My life there was brought to my opposition to the war on drugs and the sharp focus. Oh, fuck. Wait, did I read that right? Hold on. Yeah, my life there is what brought my opposition to the war on drugs and sharp focus. Basically, he, he, he was doing a lot of drugs. <laughs> I fucking hate the way he writes this. Yeah. He writes so fucking weird. Like, yeah. he tries he tries too hard. Like, we talked about this, uh, and you were like, oh, he's using college words. But, but you know, like, you, you don't have to... It's just the way he write, he puts together, together sentences that are just very strange to read. How can you deny... A blurb written so strongly. Seriously. Oh, we'll, it's a little we'll get inside joke there, but yes. <laughs> Seeing firsthand the perils associated with procuring illegal substances, the violence often needed to control the places of purchase, all while witnessing the devastation cards caused to large swaths across my age cohort because of an illogical, ineffective, and insane approach to drug control policy here in the United States. Gord, are you under the influence of drugs tonight? You're having a little difficulty reading. Ah, oh, fuck no. It's okay. It, like just, I said, it, just I, just, say, I feel like I'm in the presence of Ethan Routh right now. <laughs> Good job, Gord. Yeah, yeah. I, I try to put on that southern drawl <laughs> that Ethan so, he's so used to putting on. Often, that policy and laws associated with it are enforced unevenly and, unhar and harsher, longer, and more restrictive punishments being meted uh, out to people of color. Damn, dude, Ralph was woke. Yeah, Ralph was, uh, he was woke before woke was a thing. Yeah, dude. 
to I think they called it like PC or some shit. Like what they call it back then? SJW? SJW, that, yeah. Yeah, it's at just that so time many... they would have called it SJWism. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here today editing a stream that we're gonna put out <laughs> another episode and try to edit out all the Ed Bobs that were in there. Yeah. <laughs> well, Ralph did vote for Obama twice. Um this is an additional outrage that also helps spur me into action and activism. I support the reformation of marijuana laws, along with the entire rethinking of our approach towards all substances and the way we treat people who use them. <laughs> that was an excerpt from Ethan Ralph. Truly, he is the wordsmith of our time. Yeah, so Ethan used to be more of a lib uh, back in the day, which is very surprising because of, like, what would happen. But, I mean, to be fair, like, you got a grift. Yeah, a grifter's got a grift. Gotta make that money somehow. We have this here. Yes, we have it here. My father is the only one who's ever hurt me more. <laughs> Just like the picture there where he looks like he's, like, <laughs> eyeing a young woman like a piece of meat. It's like, oh, yeah. Oh. I know it's just the glasses and the time, but this dude's <laughs> rocking Bob Chandler vibes hardcore. He looks, yeah, he yeah, looks like really a serial is. killer. I, I, we, I talked to you about this. This was just the way the dudes used to look. Ethan's father was actually Ed Kemper. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> so uh, Ethan was born in 1985. Uh, his parents divorced when he was only 12 years old. Details of his early life amount to sparse rumors and dubious claims. Some of the only information available comes from... Uh, interviews with alleged former classmates who claim that Ethan and his father were known to abuse animals, specifically dogs. Uh, what did people say that they like hung them? They hang them or okay, they put okay, them in okay, ovens yeah. or something? Hold on. Yeah, it, it's been said that Ronnie uh, gassed uh, a litter of puppies in an oven. What? Um, and We're also, out of here. Yeah. And that Ralph, uh, he went to his uh, friend's house and he, he hung his dog by the neck with like a belt or something. Oh, right. I remember hearing about that story. Jesus um, fucking Christ. Yeah, like, do you, do you know any more details on that, Rusty? No, I don't. I have vague memories of probably Josh Moon talking about it on his podcast. Yeah, I heard some of his A-Log say that shit. All right. By the way, A-Log, that's like a Chris Chan term. And you're going to see, like, in the later episode, like, when, he, when Ralph actually fucking... He, he's the one who filmed uh, Chris Chan getting arrested. Yeah. He was there on the scene, and then the spirit of Chris Chan entered Ethan Ralph. Yeah. And then uh, he was ready for the corn harvest. <laughs> he was ready to get cornholed. Uh, Cyrax's <laughs> Doritos bag says, I think Ralph said semi-recently that Ronnie was abusing a crazy strong painkiller back then, too. Yeah, we have it in oh, the document wow. here. Let me let me just uh, read this quick. Do you have the video? Or, uh, I've got a video. I see could... that, yeah. Yeah, I've got a video that I could upload real quick. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, we, uh, that's one thing. We actually made a bunch of edits specifically for this stream and the next couple ones that we'll do. Uh, we'll be showing those. Uh, Ethan himself has claimed that his father was abusive towards him and his mother. Uh, he also claimed that his father was an addict, uh, alcoholic, and he uh, drank heavily and also shot up opioids. Uh, some have also speculated that Ethan's father was schizophrenic. I don't think we have a confirmation on that, but given Ralph's traje trajectory over the last several years, a uh, family history of schizophrenia would not really be that surprising. Uh, it sounds like the fruit don't fall far from the tree. Yeah. Uh, Ethan first rose to prominence as a vocal figure in the early 2010s online movement that came to be known as Gamergate, which was ostensibly, if you ask certain people, about ethics in game journalism, at least originally, before it was uh, quickly hijacked by ideologues and opportunistic grifters looking to make a quick buck off of the hype and the movement. Uh, I don't know if you guys have any comments you want to make about Gamergate. I remember it happening at the time, but I remember I, mean, I was do just Do you want kinda... me to say how I really feel? <laughs> uh, go ahead. I mean, honestly, it was just about, like, you know, a chick that banged a bunch of dudes to, like, get her game out there and stuff like that. Like, whatever, yeah, what was dude, Zoe, what do? Zoe like, Quinn, I remember Yeah, that, Zoe yeah. Quinn, like, whatever, mm -hmm. dude. Like, why is it such a big deal? Gotta like, get that bag. this shit happened forever. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there's a lot of people out there who claim that Ralph was some sort of, like, leader of the, or the leader of the Gamergate movement. 
Uh, this is not true, though, because Gamergate was not a structured movement like that. It didn't really have any leaders. It just had, I guess you could say, prominent members. Uh, oh, $2 Super Chat. Uh, keep up the good work. Appreciate your stuff. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Yes. Uh, where were we? Uh, by the way, it's going to take like nine minutes for that video to upload where uh, Ralph is like, yeah, my daddy used this and this. Yeah, we could we could actually uh, we could actually show that in a moment here. So, um, oh, where were we? Uh, Gamergate. The gamer Gamergate was a pivotal era for Ralph because this is how he really uh, gained notoriety online. He had a blog going for a while called the Ralph Retort, and as far as I know, I don't know if he's still posting updates to it, but. As recent as a couple of years ago, he was still maintaining it. So it's something he did for like close to a decade or more. Pretty, uh, pretty prolific with that. Although I wouldn't say in a very good way or a very positive way. I'm um, checking right now. He's protected well, by Cloudflare. Oh, God. Hold on. I just posted the video in the Discord. Oh, okay. Yeah, see so, if you can pull that up. Let's see. Let's... I see like September 15th, 2023. Oh, here we go. Let me see here. Okay, I'm just pulling it up. One second. God, this picture of his dad, I can't. <laughs> it's so it's so creepy. <laughs> All right, we got this video here. You guys can see it, right? Yes. Didn't drink with him either. Delauded is great. Oh God. <laughs> so what right is the it's a very strong painkiller. Very strong. Insanely they usually give strong. you it at the hospital. Do you remember? Um, do you remember when I covered what's that fucking fat fuck's name? Um, oh, uh, Asante. Ste Stephen Asante. Asante. Yeah, that's what he would ask for when he he he'd call up the hospital and be like, "Oh, I'm in pain," and then they'd take him there and they'd give him a dilated shot, and then he'd just be like fucked up, and he'd do that mm. over and over. Very strong. Um, opioid from what i understand well you know what my father actually used to shoot up delauded and um that's one of the reasons i pr promised myself that i would just never shoot up anything ever i mean it's not much better being like i'm not going to do opiates and then going and doing fucking um what are they called fucking benzos, benzos yeah like Benzo benzo addiction is like one of the closest things you can get to like opiate addictions. It's horrible. Talk about some of the worst withdrawal. Like the withdrawals can kill you. They might actually be worse in some instances than heroin withdrawals. Yeah, benzos and alcohol are like the only two that can kill you, I believe. Yeah. Um because Dilaudid was my father's favorite drug. A little aside there. I think I'm, I've said that on the air before. Where was he getting this allotted from? Uh, Where his dad was? Who knows? Yeah. Who the fuck like, knows? You used to be honestly. You, you used to be able to buy quaaludes, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for <honestly>. sure. <laughs> this could also just be a fucking lie, honestly. Like, mm -hmm. like Ralph. Ralph would just say shit. I'm. I'm and I, also, like, I, I don't believe be him. Yeah, I don't know. I also don't believe him when he says, like, I would never inject anything. The motherfucker <laughs> smoked meth. <laughs> like, he come ate, on. He ate garbage burgers. <laughs> Delauded was, like, his favorite thing. Yeah. I saw, I'm not sorry. It's the best shit I've ever had. Yeah, that's how he felt about Delauded. Uh, Sully in the chat says, they gave me IV Delauded in the hospital once. I totally get why someone would spiral into a really nasty place with that stuff. It was way too enjoyable. I've never had to take any of that stuff, uh, opiates, painkillers, any of that stuff. Thank God. So I have no idea, but yeah, shit can uh, shit can ruin your life. Um, but he would shoot it up, and I just promised I would just never, just to myself. Hold up. Yeah, there's nothing left in this video. I honestly. was gonna say like. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just silent, it's just dead air for the rest of the video. Here. Yeah, we got to talk about Ralph and his uh, charisma. So Ralph, lack, lack thereof charisma. Yeah, yeah. There's a reason why Ralph, basically, his show was propped up by guests, right? Guests Especially, and co-hosts, yeah. Yeah, guests and co-hosts. Gator! 
Um, but yeah, no. So uh, are we moving on to the next part? We're going to talk about like early I was going to say, too. yeah. I mean, that's one thing we can just generally point out is that Ralph has always needed other people to run his show. Uh, we haven't even mentioned the kill stream yet in terms of the history, but we're about to get to it. So if you want to keep okay. that in your pocket for just a moment, yeah, I can uh, mention this here because we were talking about Gamergate and that's where Ralph really first uh, got noticed by anybody. Um, his Twitter profile grew at the time. He was tweeting about it a lot, uh, drew attention to his blog. Uh, major infamous, uh, major incident that made Ethan infamous in a lot of circles and famous in others was the doxing and then, uh, you know, fucking with uh, on infamous online figure Brianna Wu. Uh, and he used this to further establish his persona and grow his uh, following. They had subsequent cla uh, subsequent clashes. Uh, including an in-person event that Wu had Ethan kicked out of after she found out he was not only in the audience, but live tweeting uh, about her and talking shit. Um, they continued to have, you know, back and forths online, and Ethan parlayed that into, uh, you know, starting to kind of make money off the movement. But, you know, when that all kind of fell apart, he continued to post and his blog, The Ralph Retort, uh, where he would bloviate endlessly about news, politics, internet drama, discussing his personal life or whatever, that over time morphed into the infamous live show known as The Kill Stream. Uh, but before we talk about The Kill Stream, we have to talk about uh, Ralph going to prison. So before what? anybody outside of uh, the Gamergate circles really knew who he was, uh, Ralph. Uh, had this incident, and this is, I think, the first time he ever really got talked uh, about in the news or anything Wiz, like that. Wiz, Wiz, hold What's on, up? Wiz. What's we, up? What's up? Uh, so, actually, the kill stream started in uh, 2014, um, and yeah, the original co-hosts were Gator and Zidane. But like, the kill stream didn't actually get like off its feet until like around uh, 2018. But we'll we'll get to that yeah, though. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what um. I was about to get to like nobody really knew about the kill stream except for maybe a few dozen people you know uh it wasn't really that popular and it didn't really have the structure that most people uh know like the people the structure that people are aware of and the way it was when most people started watching it it was not like that originally it was way more like low tech boring low energy and honestly that's just the way a lot of live shows and bits of online content were because we're talking about stuff from like 10 years ago like yeah eight, nine, back in the day ago. people hadn't really figured out uh, especially just you know your average person doing this type of stuff how to really format or run a show like this some people had it down people who are more from like you know the um the uh mainstream industry uh, who started doing online content but yeah, we have to talk about the prison arc because that's the first time like articles were like written about him outside of like certain circles. As people were starting to kind of, you know, take note of him as kind of a foolish individual. We yeah, have his so... mugshot here. You can talk about the uh, arrest if you want. Uh, hold up. I need to pull up the actual uh picture. I've got it pulled up here. I just gotta scroll to it. But yeah, um, Ralph was booked on August 28th of 2016, and he would be released around February of 2018. So he was in there for like over a year in, yeah. in jail. Um, he went to uh, he, he had four charges, assault uh, on a law enforcement officer, uh, two counts, um, obstruction of justice and public swearing slash intoxication. Mm hmm. So yeah, Ralph was uh, he was in like a airport lobby, hotel lobby, hotel uh, lobby, yeah, hotel lobby. He was drunk, passed out, and a cop uh, woke him up. You know, they were trying to remove him, and he woke up and he just started swinging. Basically, yeah. and they they yeah. just instantly arrested him and booked him. Yeah, yeah, and uh, so any like he didn't even hit the officer. He tried to hit the officer. <laughs> But in Virginia, that's the same thing as like assault on law yeah. enforcement. Apparently, it's rumored apparently, that it was a female officer too. Yeah, it was a lady cop, and he's never denied it, from what I understand. And people have been joking about this for for a while. 
it, which you know it, it makes sense that it's a lady cop you know because it's ralph and you know his history with women in general <laughs> how yeah. many pockets do you think he uh, had to hold while he was in prison <laughs> how many pockets um i don't think anyone wanted him to be his prison wife <laughs> No, I don't think so. They're just like, mm, no. They just beat his ass. Made him lick Probably. the toilet. Made him lick the they toilet seat, you know. They saw the bifurcation in that gunt and they were like, I don't even I don't even want to get there. <laughs> uh, Maybe so, they yeah. try to get in it. Well, actually, fuck, that may be why the front butt is so fucking worn out. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of dudes used it as a used it as a uh, you know a so, flesh sleeve. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so, as Gord was saying, from mid-2016 to early 2018, Ralph was in prison. However, if you were to look back through his blog, The Ralph Retort, you'd see that um, he didn't stop posting during this town. Uh, excuse me, during this time. And you might ask yourself, how was that? Well, his wife, uh, Nora, who we'll be speaking about more uh, when we get a little bit further into things, was posting stuff for him in his place. I guess she, he was, like, writing stuff, sending it to her, and she would post it for him. Do you want to? Um, oh, sorry. Do you want to show a picture of uh, Nora? Sorry to cut you off. Um, we had one here, but I don't know where it went. I've I've got it here. I can send okay, it to yeah. you real quick. Yeah. Um, it was interesting because uh, she stayed with him through the, you know, assaulting an officer, all the charges and everything. She stayed with him. She stayed with him more longer than probably most people would have. All the shit he was getting up to. Well, then again, wow. like she didn't have to live with him, though. Like she uh, apparently yeah, she true. moved to the United Kingdom. Yeah, they did not live in the same country. No. Uh, pull the picture up. Here we go. So, I think Nora is cute. He's definitely dating above his level. Oh yeah, definitely. Like apparently she was like a doctor too, something like that. Yeah, she was a she was a pretty well educated professional, from what I understand. But yeah, uh, she was just basically running his blog for him while he was in prison. Uh, but fast forward to February second, twenty eighteen, Ralph finally got out of prison, and it's pretty interesting. Um, at the time, he managed to like lose a lot of weight being in prison. Uh, so the guy who was, uh, you know, known for being a fat fuck, uh, was no longer really that fat, but of course he gained it all back uh, when he got back out of prison. Yeah. Like 2018. Yeah. Uh, he's so fucking fat. Like we're going to see how fat he is. Uh, <laughs> uh, whenever we, uh, show like, uh, Knoxville. Mm -hmm. So Ralph got out of prison and for, you know, several months he was still doing the kill stream, doing his blog. Um, but what most people remember and when most people started watching Ralph's content was the mundane Matt exposed stream, uh, where mundane Matt talked about going and picking up boulders and shit. So, uh, to give you guys a little context, if you don't know, uh, on August of 2018, uh, I, or I should just say, um, for the first several months of 2018 and maybe even before that a ton of videos are getting struck for bullying and harassment on YouTube uh, people noticed pretty quickly there was a common thread. Uh, all of these videos discussed or at least mentioned or made fun of a creator named Mundane Matt. Uh, this eventually came to include an episode of The Killstream. Uh, Ralph and his co-host Gator and Zidane uh, speculated while they were streaming at one point that Matt was on a mass flagging campaign. They talked about it. Uh, they showed a little bit of evidence, but that stream was flagged down. Uh, they then fired up another stream, uh, and I'll just we'll, we'll just show you guys an edited version of the Monday Matt Exposed stream here because it's just easier to kind of show you guys what went down. Um, oh, hold on, Wiz, you got a super berry. Oh shit! Catnip Anonymous with a five dollar tip before Ralph. Oh, sorry. Ethan Ralph looking infamous in these mug shots. Do you guys think he's friends with Puffy? Puffy is infamous for being a pocket holder. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe he shared a cell. Who's who's Puffy? Like uh, Puff P Daddy? Yeah, P yeah, Diddy. P Diddy. Did you not hear about what happened with him lately? Uh, I know that he like ran like a gay sex like like ring or some Dude, shit. Dude, there was there was like pedophilia and rape and. He, dude, he planted a bomb in Kid Cudi's car, 
and tried to kill him, and he almost killed him. It went off. Like, that rabbit hole goes deep. We might have to do a stream talking about him at some point. Maybe. Yes, thank you for the four ninety nine tip. I appreciate it. Uh, I think, one sec, we got this here. Let me just pull this up. I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna play this in its entirety here. We might, and this is only like a seven minute edit that I made earlier today of the uh, stream. So you guys can see it here. Uh, we'll we'll give some commentary on it, but we'll mostly just uh, just play this uh, edit here to recap for those who know and uh, give context for those who haven't seen it. Flaggings uh, happened. Okay, okay, we're oh, here. Are, we're are here. we live now? Yes, no, we're live. No, we're. Oh, oh wait, wait, I, wait. I can't. We're, we're, okay. we're live now. We're live now. We're live now. Yes. We're, we're we're live now. Okay. Yes. All right. Didn't want to speak out of turn. Sorry okay. about getting your fucking channel nuked. Yeah, I mean, it's not even really your fault. I mean, I don't no, know. It's, if... it, it's Monday and Matt's fault. Like, I, I, I just want to outright say that. There's no way. That I'm 100% certain Matt did this. Yeah, 100%. I'm not, no benefit of the doubt bullshit. Matt did this. I've seen this happen six or seven times. I've seen it happen repeatedly to people that put up videos criticizing Matt. That near instant fucking taneously, they get pulled down. There is no way that Matt didn't do this. And I suspect that he did it on all the other ones, too. And I, I'd almost encourage people to go look when he got verified. Or he got his little check mark or whatever on YouTube. It seems to be when it really kicked into high gear. Like, you know, once he kind of established himself, like the 100,000 mark, whatever. It, it just seems like over the last year and a half to two years, he is any video that's really critical of him gets instantly pulled down. Matt, you're here. Yeah, apparently people have been uh, been saying some shit about me tonight. That is uh, really not fucking true. Well, let me repeat it verbatim so you can hear what I've said. I okay. suspect that you flagged Ralph. I find it to be too much of a coincidence that it seems like any time a video goes up uh, that's shitting on you or making fun of you or pointing out something that you've already done, that it really very quickly, sometimes within an hour or less, gets pulled down. I look there. There are tons of videos people have made about me over the years, right? I can't control what anyone says or anyone thinks, right? I have no push over that whatsoever. I don't. I if I flag a video, I admit that I flag it, and I flag cognitive thought because that was a straight fucking rip. I wasn't home when I got it. I was on my way to go like pick rocks, literally. All of a sudden, my fucking Discord starts. <laughs> I'm there to pick rocks, <laughs> dude. I unmuted myself because I knew. Dude, the, the the turn of phrase picking rocks, it sounds like a euphemism. Like it sounds like a euphemism. It doesn't sound like you're talking about it, it would have been more it would have been better if he would have said, Yeah, I went rock hunting. <laughs> Just picking up boulders. <laughs> Blowing up my Under phone down. with these messages and Joaquin drawing my name on his nutsack. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? I literally have no goddamn idea. I checked Twitter and it's just like, you fucking took down Ralph's stream. Like, no, I didn't. But I've literally just been like trying to fucking keep to myself. I'm like, let me just do my thing. And that's that. Okay. You understand uh, how this works, so right? No, I dude, I get the optics. But Jim, you've known me for four fucking years, right? Like you've known me for at least you've known uh, at least who I am for four years. Well, yeah, I know of you, Matt. I mean, it's no, not like we're, we're not like we're friends or not like we've ever really hung out, but you, you generally tend to know. Sorry, I was muted there. Uh, say what you want about Jim, but he keeps it realer than most people. And I respect that. I absolutely agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> he just that, tells you what the fuck he thinks. That's like, honestly. Um, the way he carries his, himself is something that, as I've seen him over the years, is kind of like, okay, like, this is, like, it kind of, you kind of, like, um, it kind of hits you, you know what I mean? It kind of grabs your attention, and it's something where I've kind of been like, okay, like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I've kind of adapt, I've tried to adapt some of that more kind of, like, realness in my own life, because, like, he... Like, it, it takes people back in moments like this, where Matt's like, yeah, we know each other, right? And he's like, I mean, I've heard of you. Like, we're not fucking friends. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why would he want to speak I would like to, you know? Exactly. <laughs> well, he knows in this situation. Dude, you can tell by how Matt is talking in this, if, you, if you've seen the whole thing. He's talking way too much. It's obvious he's lying. 
I think oh yeah, he's trying to do damage control. Yeah, well, he's just talk. When people are lying, they just talk way too much, and they just go on and on. And if you don't stop them, they'll just go on and on and on. To know my character, I'm op- I'm open about this shit. If I if I fucking take something like this down, I'm open about it. So why don't you just okay? So you're here now. Yeah, you I'm saw here. my if message. I, if I fucking, you saw, if I but wait, but wait, but wait. You saw my message earlier. Of course, we were gonna so, have fun with it. I mean, it was it was yeah, a crazy ass video that you uploaded. Uh, I know. Of course, we're gonna play it. So, so why weren't you earlier? That's the thing. It, it, it almost seems I, like, oh, I'm gonna come in and try to spin afterwards. No, and you I could have just came in at the start. Of course, we're gonna I, talk I, I'm about. It. I told you. T- I told yeah, you personally. We were I gonna talk you about told it. Me personally, I know that. Like okay, said, why didn't you respond out. to that? Why didn't you respond to that? Because I was fucking out. If you saw the message, you could, you're saying you couldn't just, you know. I like. I went on. down and picked up boulders today, for my front yard. <laughs> he picked up boulder. I don't know picked why it's rocks. so funny, but well, it Matt's still like makes a, me laugh. Matt's like a a short, stubby, like fat guy. So just you know, imagining him going to like the local quarry and just picking up giant heavy rocks is just I, I don't know. Just the image of it is just funny to me. The choice of word to boulder. It's perfect. Yeah, not I went to go pick up stones or I went to go do some yard work. I went to go pick boulders. We found a dude. They're very heavy the rocks. Thing. They take a lot of time. Yeah. yeah, Minecraft Matt here. Nowhere who's giving away <laughs> boulders and went down and got them. So I was out of cell service for a while. Then I had to drive home, unload everything, get dinner. Excuses, but you're just magically here. <laughs> So you're here it's to not. talk. So I, I'm, I want to just <clears throat> throw out some names. You tell me if you flag them or not. Uh, Dame Pesos. Nope. Godwinson. Nope. Uh, Kronos. No. Uh, I have Google Alert set up for my name because I have to check the C Oh, you does. By the way, <laughs> I had to include that. That's hilarious, dude. Google Alert set up for his name. Yes, there it is. <laughs> yeah, obviously I do. I've talked about that before. Uh, so I know if those things pop up and shit. And so there's that. And that's about it. So if so. I say your name on a forum, you you get alerted once uh, sometimes up. sometimes not every time yeah okay yeah much later uh more people hop on and mention that youtube has a page that shows an accounts reporting history uh-oh and everyone starts pressuring matt to show his uh youtube accounts uh reporting history page prove he's in- <laughs> in- innocent and didn't flag these people go ahead, it took go ahead. him it, it took him like 30 minutes to eventually show his page i think he was, it was, he it was, was a long time. It was a long time, yeah. You know, like that entire time he was muting and unmuting himself, trying to figure out a way if he could like delete his report history. Yeah, I, I think I think a decent amount of the time too, he was just sitting there and like he was frozen. Like he's like, yeah, Do he, I show them? Do I yeah, just he, leave? What do I do? Yeah, because like back in the day, like reporting people, flagging people, doxing people, you know, all like the fuckery that it, it's not like welcome now but like it's more prevalent now uh people would just get roasted for i would say i would say it's like if you're just doing it like in the context that matt's doing here there's there's almost no context where it's appropriate you know and do you know who this whole action that's going on here with matt flagging everybody reminds me of what what like once they got you know youtube verified who's that oh jared jared chris Well, both Chris and Jared. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, I was going to say the Chris thing. That was one of the examples I was going to bring up. Like if somebody is fucking with your shit using the YouTube system or using copyright or whatever, then that's one of the only instances where I would say it's acceptable to do that back to them. But even then it's like, it's like, it's not, it's still bad, but it's, but nobody's, I don't think anybody's going to give you shit. If like, it's like somebody's, uh, striking your videos for whatever reason like you're but you're that, laughing at them and then you use their content because chris does that so it's that like, was like that was like the argument back in the day though like if you open the the gate like if you if you start doing this you're just gonna like people are gonna start doing it to you now it, it, yeah it's why you have a rule against anything because you yeah, don't that's, you it, murder or stealing or whatever it is you don't want somebody to do that to you but beyond that you can't have a system where that's allowed or that's permitted, you know, because it just, it, it functionally destroys the system. 
Again, plenty of people are guilty of it. A lot of locals are guilty of it too. Shanny oh, went yeah. around doing oh, that fuck. like crazy. Remember, remember <laughs> Full Metal Kendo trying to come into chat saying like, "I'm gonna have this taken down because you're calling me this and that." Nothing ever got taken down. Yeah, nothing ever got taken down. Or like fucking Cobra yeah. being like, "Oh, uh, I can try and get YouTube videos flagged, but it never works." But well, all my tr my content flagged. Do you remember that it was very recent where Cobra? Told people to go flag uh, bite-sized cobra videos. Did it happen? Um, people might have flagged him, but I don't think the video got taken down. Regardless, though, it's still like he's like, "Fuck bite-sized, go flag his videos." Let me take yeah, what a piece. Here. What a piece. No, shit. you're taking way too long, Matt. Yeah. You're guilty as fuck. Take a oh, screenshot. Fuck, we got. We want to see what you report. We got fucking killer Keemstar. Report it. All right. Stop fucking around. It's been like fucking eight minutes. Jesus Christ, Take dude. That's so crazy to me. No, I'm keep us. lying. Yeah. It's so crazy to me that, like, fucking Keemstar is sector adjacent. But then again, like, he is drama alert. Like, he's trying to look for, like, anything he can find to talk about on his show. Keemstar is that one guy where, where you, go, you go back through a bunch of, like, lol cow histories of, like, individual figures and, like, internet history. He's just there. Like, he just pops up. You're like, oh, shit, it's Keemstar. <laughs> like he's just oh he's always there in the background somewhere pulling the strings. Yeah, even with like the Jared stuff. Yeah, stars there. That's what, dude. That's what I'm talking about. He's fucking everywhere. I am working on it right now. One sec. Mm. You definitely are working on it. Loading up Adobe Photoshop as we speak. By the way, there there's the um... <laughs> Matt. Where you at? Uh, Matt, <laughs> Matt, how long does it take to Photoshop something? <laughs> tabs. I have a lot of tabs open, but. I that This was the moment that changed everything. Nothing, but nothing on, 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 wait a minute. What the fuck? So, <laughs> I have been, this been this in a not the best place mentally. And now, wait a <laughs> this immediately <laughs> starts making excuses. Oh my fucking god, dude. This... This moment, this, this, this still holds up. This is still funny. <laughs> yeah, Doritos bag says literally the peak of Ethan. Yeah, actually, this was Ethan's peak as yes. like a content creator. Yes, it's true. It's true. In his mind, this was the beginning of like the high point for him, though, because this is when he started making all the money. Wait a minute, oh, Matt! Oh, Matt! No! <laughs> Matt! Wait a minute, Matt. No, I love that. No, he's a holler. Oh, yeah, that's 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 wait, it. No, that's... no, I, I, dude, wait, wait, no, I, no, I, wait, no, wait, wait, wait a minute, cut back. No, bro, bro. no. He fucking okay, lied to us. He no, lied to dude, us. dude, what? He lied straight to our face. He lied straight to our fucking face for an hour. <laughs> 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 he was spinning and deflecting the entire fucking no. line. It's did about they, about. Did they get the? Did you uh, edit the part in where like they got Matt to say that he's a soy filled bit? <laughs> yes, yes, I got it here. Okay, good. Oh, no, Matt. Of course, this wouldn't. Uh, do you think I'm gonna put this out together and not put that? <laughs> I, I, I've. It's because Matt. No, Matt. That's Matt. my bad. Matt. That's my bad. Matt. Matt. Admit fault Matt. 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 No, that's me. Matt. That's me. No, come on, dude. Just, just, just take uh, a hit. That's I'm me. sorry, but look, take dude, the at the history of <laughs> the screenshot, the right? The history of the <laughs> screenshot, what we saw was we saw anybody making a video talking shit about Woo! Matt Monday getting flagged by Matt Mundane or whatever the you fuck go. your name yep. is. But, 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 I think he did that on purpose just to disrespect him, honestly. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Case that, closed. I've made a lot of mistakes and I do owe uh, people an apology. Uh, Matt, I want you to say right now to the fucking, uh, to the stream, I am sorry I am a soy-filled bitch and flagged your fucking videos. I am, sorry. That? I am sorry that I flagged them no, 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 I am, no, for doing <laughs> no, what you no, did, no. Uh, I am fine, sorry I am fine, a soy-filled bitch and flagged your videos. I'm sorry I'm a soy-filled bitch and flagged your videos. <laughs> that, that, there we go. Put it no. on the soundboard. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> I think That's that was wild, man. <laughs> I think that was a pretty pretty good summation of that stream it's a, it's a pretty long stream it's like an hour yeah and a half or what something. you what, what wasn't long. shown what like, wasn't no, it's like shown two and a half hours or something 
what wasn't shown though however was matt didn't just have like a few videos it was like pages like three or four pages worth of flag videos and people speculate that one of the reasons he took so long to show his screen and the full stream was that he was removing things individually because i think you could go in at the time i don't know if you still can and like people are saying you could remove things so he was trying to remove as many things as possible yeah but he had just pages upon pages so yeah. it's like an impossible task he was flagging like dozens or hundreds of videos yeah anytime his name was mentioned just flag yeah so um do you guys remember because i remember uh for the period of time that i watched the kill stream years ago years and years ago um this was the first time i ever heard of it i don't like do you guys remember when this happened or like what's what's your guys input on this what's up Alan, um, by the way? how's it going I don't remember it happening, but I remember watching it in college at one point because it was that big. It was and just huge, thinking, yeah. Yeah, like I remember watching some of Monday and Matt's content. You remember Polly the Polar Bear? Yeah, well, well, that's one of the videos that they showed, and he flagged them for it. Yeah. It was like uh, Monday and Matt saying the N-word and all this shit. Yeah, so Monday and Matt had a sock puppet of a polar bear, and he was like, hi, I'm Polly the Polar Bear, and today's word of the day is boo. They send that said the N word, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I I guess he was trying to be like edgy. Like edgy content was like more abundant back in the day. Uh back before yeah. like uh twenty sixteen, I guess, or I guess during twenty sixteen. I can't remember. Honestly, uh, but... I I do remember around Trump's presidency is when things were like things were things were shifting between like i would say 2010 and 2015 but trump's presidency changed a lot of, changed a lot of things yeah a lot of guys were like i'm a white guy bum, 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 bum. <laughs> yeah <laughs> well that's <And> they... <laughs> that's that's when things started to become way more it was like the escalation of polarization if you know what i mean mm -hmm. i yeah. at least that's how it feels to me looking back on it because there are so many fucking people who before 2016 did not talk about politics. And a lot of people's attitudes were like, we don't talk about politics unless they're talking to like close family members or da 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 da, da. And we don't have to get into this too much. But I think you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know if you yeah. necessarily agree with that, but it's well, like when tr everybody started talking about Trump's presidency and all that shit chat. happened. Um, yeah, I was, but I was just going to say like, if that's when the shift starts to become like more apparent to like the average person, I think. Yeah, a lot uh, of more like weirdos and like grifters like mm -hmm. got more emboldened, and they were like, "There's a there's like an already an audience for like all the stupid shit that yeah. I can get away with saying." Well, they were able to grift more people because more people became more people like plugged in to talking about politics and watching more political content. Like this is just a fact. <clears throat> yeah this is just a fact and, if you go back and, and you if, look at the numbers yeah and if you're wondering who those people are and i'm not gonna say like who it is but like are they still around today as their content a lot of them are changed? yeah a lot of them are but a lot of them aren't doing really that oh, well sorry no i was talking about the viewers like they're still viewing the content sorry that's what i meant um but um, a lot of it's a lot of it's very like compartmentalized but no, you're right. Like a lot of grifters fell off, but it's because so many other grifters became so prolific and then started eating up all. Cause like, here's the thing, bro. If you're somebody who's caught up watching like Ben Shapiro and Tim pool, there's so many, there's only so many hours you have in a week to watch like two, three hour long podcasts and all this bullshit. And like that goes for anybody. But if you're watching that shit and you're hooked into like Tim Pool and a few other, like you're not going to be looking at all this other shit. Like I feel like for a while there was like a diversification and then a consolidation. Um, oh, I'm not even talking about those people. Those people are obvious grifters, but I'm talking about like the the smaller kind of streamer. Well, like, that's what Ethan. I mean. Okay. I feel like well, that's that's what I mean. Like so many of those creators got pushed off of YouTube, so things kind of changed yeah because, because like so much of that was centralized on youtube 
maybe Facebook and like one or two other sites before. Yeah, like YouTube saw what was happening and they were like, okay, we're disgusted by this. We're going to push you off of our platforms well, because... Let's be real. They weren't disgusted and, by it. They were just worried that it would affect their profits in yeah, terms of bad, bad advertising op- and all of that. Bad optics, yeah. yeah. And then they see someone like Benny Boy, Benny Boy Shapiro, and they're like, yeah, you're, you're pretty clean and you talk fast, so we'll keep you. Well, it's more... It's more like the facade of normality and like riding the line of like what you can get away with. Yeah, you know? but plus like Ben has like clout because he's actually been like a pundit on like. Yeah, news we don't have to get into it too much. It's manufactured. I never got clout, Ben anyway. But... Like, yeah. why bother with Ben when there's Abby? <laughs> Ab- oh, oh yeah. I, I yeah. see what you mean. So, <laughs> going back to what we were talking about though before. Um, this Monday and Matt exposed stream really kicked off the first true like era of the kill stream being popular and successful, uh, able to get like, uh, guests on who aren't just like random other people. Uh, and they were doing pretty good for a while, but like we were talking about, they were on YouTube at the time, uh, as m- most people were, um, and we'll talk about uh, them getting kicked off YouTube in a second. We'll talk about the heel, heel stream. But yeah, I just want to actually, read these. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, Ralph actually got pretty deep in with some uh, so- semi-establishment people too. Like, uh, yeah. I, 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 I might be getting ahead of myself, but like, uh, do you remember like the um, Ralph's uh, Blaze stream, like where he's like in the parking lot just screaming at like Elijah Schaefer or whatever? Yeah, his I name actually is? don't. I don't personally know. Well, that's going to be on the next stream, or it's going to be on a future stream. But like Ralph, um, he interviewed some uh, people, you know, who would eventually become like bigger, uh, well, more well known. So his uh, his show was actually kind of a big deal, mm-hmm. and he got like a lot of like a media attention and stuff mm-hmm. too. A lot of yeah. negative media attention from like, well, we're we're about to see with like the, yeah. the heel stream. Cyrax's Doritos bag says soy gone of uh, Applebee's is still somehow uploading in 2024. Yeah, I don't hear like, much about him. Well, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, dude, after the UKIP thing, like <laughs> nobody, nobody takes him seriously except for like a bunch of couple of idiots. Dude, uh, I loved, I love seeing him get pelted with fish and uh, fucking. Oh uh, yeah, milkshakes. that was so funny. Jim's, Jim's, uh, His Jim's video roasts just, of him are incredible. That was insane that was like the that was the greatest roast i've seen him Ill, like ever the, do soy gone in the ill-fitting suit yeah no it's it's crazy because like <laughs> fucking uh, uh soy gone had like a folder on jim too that yeah. he was gonna use and he like at the beginning of like the video he showed the folder that he had a picture of <laughs> Too funny, man. Catnip Anonymous says, I know a lot of grifters refuse to call rioters protesters, but they're still asshats of another sort, but don't discount how most of that phenomenon was back. Oh, excuse me. Backlash to bullshit liberalism. Uh, we could we could uh, go into that, but it would fucking it would we would be digressing a little bit too much. Let's just say that. But once again, I want to thank you, Catnip Anonymous, for the uh, tips. Thank you very much. So as I was saying, we need we need to get into the heel stream. So yeah. for a couple months, or actually, I think it was about a month or so after the mundane Matt exposed stream, uh, uh, the kill stream had a massive influx of new viewers. Like I said before, uh, I was one of them at the time. Um, <clears throat> they were riding high, and uh, Ethan decided he was going to do something good for once of his uh, once in his life and do a uh, stream. He called it the heel stream. Uh, I don't know if he came up with the name actually, but yeah, uh, it was called the heel stream and it was uh, in theory to raise money for St. Jude's, uh, the charity uh, used to YouTube. I don't, I think they used to, or they might still have it. There's a feature where you could do a stream and set it so that any money made through it, tips and all that bullshit would go to a charity and YouTube would have a list of like, uh, different charities that you could send the money to. Um, I, they might still have the feature. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so he did one of those streams. He set it to like a charity stream for St. Jude's. They actually raised a decent amount of money. <clears throat> but the problem with this stream was that um, <laughs> like the kill stream was already pretty controversial in terms of 
subject matter and the st uh, stuff they would discuss and whatever, uh, even for the time. Um, it's crazy that it's like, it's fucking almost six years ago now. Um, but yeah, uh, some of the guests on there were notable white supremacists, uh, Nick Fuentes and Mark Collette. Uh, and they would end up discussing, um, let's just say, a lot of controversial topics and giving some, I don't, uh, you could ostensibly call them hot takes. Uh, that might be being a little bit reductive, uh, but yeah, we'll go with no, that. No, those, those takes were ice cold. <laughs> well, at least in their mind, they were some. They were dropping some pretty hot takes. I guess we could say that. Yeah, um, well... You're you're gonna figure out what they're talking about because of yeah. the uh, flashing sentence that I didn't remove. But yeah, well, you, <laughs> censored for YouTube because uh, yeah, man, you guys you guys already know. Uh, but yeah, yeah Gord made this edit here. This is uh, <laughs> a little bit of a summary of the heel stream. So as it says here, uh, September 2018, around 27 grand. Holy shit! What? 27 grand. Uh, American was supposed to be d directly donated to St. Jude's Children's Hospital, uh, but because of the content of the heel stream and its chat donations, the Wall Street Journal pressured YouTube to refund all the money. You pull up the stream, every single dollar that you donate on this stream is going to St. Jude, period. Point blank. It's not going to me. Um, if for, if it does happen to where oh we're gonna refuse to donate since I don't it's give been a, a fuck. Minute since I'm not gonna take this. the money. This is a 100% charity stream. I don't want the money. I don't need the money. That's why I do it. When I saw that, like when I saw people donating, I saw this is going straight to St. Jude's. I'm yeah, like, if you can't fucking yeah. laugh at your fucked up moments, you can't. To me, you can't get by in life oh, uh, or, or you just or you just seem like a smug fucker that, that's totally it's, it's therapeutic self-deprecating yeah, humor sure. is a must if even the most <laughs> even the lowest points in your life i guess I, maybe i was just raised like that i was Zidane actually posted this to me at, Who, uh, I guess, who's eating I chips know, right now minutes ago i'm muted on stream but i was eating chips because i'm muted i'm like i'm taking the oh, time to eat some <laughs> sorry sorry i can hear it in the mic i was just making sure it's muted on stream but yeah Oh, Elon sorry. Musk to pay twenty million step down as Tesla chair in SEC settlement. And can can we give it up for the name? I mean that name alone, that is a peacocking of a name. I hear Elon Musk, I go into fight or flight mode just instantly. It's impressive. So what do the what do the rest of you guys think of him? Hi. I'm Iluma. Many, many. Give me to you. Give it to you because I love you. I love you. I love you. He's quite an interesting <laughs> chap. He made that comment about who owns the media. It seems as if he was covertly naming the Jew. No! 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 <laughs> he's South African too. You know, he knows the deal, right? I mean, he, he knows. He knows what he's doing, right? With some of those comments. But the playing this huge role in destroying western civilization i guess i'm a few drinks in by the way i'm legit about to go ask the mexican next door to run up to the store for me <laughs> if you just wait a while they'll come around to to your room <laughs> i'm legit about to go ask the mexican to go up to the store uh, what is there to debate about the holocaust yeah here we go I don't know. I'm asking. I'm asking the panel. I mean, I'm the host. I don't, you know. I'm just. I'm just throwing the topic. I'm there. I, and all I did was talk about who actually killed the most people. And even if you take this six million number, even if you take this six million number and you say that is actually true, even if you took that as being true, then you actually see that the National Socialists were nowhere near the top of the killing tree. Well, it's about white guilt. It's that all the whole is is an instrument of white guilt. And whether six million die or whether they didn't die is irrelevant. The end game with teaching kids about the whole special lessons like Holocaust is to push white guilt. It's to make white kids hate themselves. They're as bad as Hitler. That's what the whole is there for. And Kraut and T can make his little videos. <laughs> and, you know, he's uploading them on Pornhub at the moment. Who came up with porn? You know, the same people who are bleating about the Holocaust and pushing white guilt. So, yeah, let him put his Holocaust videos on Pornhub where they belong. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's no fun. We we want to have people to engage, and ever since blood sports kind of fizzled out, we need more conflict. We need sure. more fighting and yelling. And you're just a 
You're just a wannabe out. fucking pundit. You you're never are... gonna get there. You're never gonna yeah, get okay. there. Okay. So yeah. I mean, how I'm, many followers do you have? Kind of bad. For you. How old are you? How old are you? You've been at this for, like 100, for far longer than I have. There's been a real absence of that, and it sucks. <laughs> Everyone always got on my case. They're like <laughs> the monkey's paw curls. You get what you wish for. <laughs> There's so much irony in all of this just seeped in because, like, uh, oh, fine, play the rest of it. Yeah, Niche play the rest of it. Drama, whatever. And now there's none of it. And as a result, there's no fun. There's no energy. <laughs> you see? No, that's cool, man. That's cool. It says straight to St. Jude. It's great. Uh, this makes it so, you know, there's no money handling. It just goes Exactly. There. I have nothing to do with it. I don't have to sit here and say, oh, how much was raised? It's not going to any kind of legal defense fund for. No. For this no, I'm good. I'm on probation. About to be off probation. No, no issues there. No, no money's going to me whatsoever. Why is Matt Jarbo directing Kiwi Farms to do these things? Matt, can you defend this action that we're hearing about? <laughs> of course, he said. I hate that you. I'm Matt Jarbo. <laughs> Matt Jarbo quotes me on the articles. You know, Ralph, I don't feel comfortable next to this fucking anti-Semite. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. Shut up, but I'll flag you. I'll flag you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so a uh, certain denial of a certain extermination is pretty much the reason uh, I think that, uh, yeah, that uh, children with cancer didn't get any money. Uh, also, yeah. the comments that the uh, people were donating with were probably also really bad. Um, so a lot, like you guys have like a different opinion than I have. Um, just you a, guys it, think that it, it, it shouldn't a, have been taken down. Let's just say it's a generally, uh, by the way, this article we'll get to in a second, but it was just a generally, uh, let's just say not advertiser friendly and, uh, yeah. not, not, uh, charity friendly event to be yeah, I will, as generous I, as possible in my assessment of it. I will say it is very morally gray because on one end, like, yeah, children with cancer need money. I don't care who it comes from. But on the other end, I'm like, OK, I can see why this happened. And also, like, if you're going to do a donation stream, then why the fuck would you do a stream like this? You know, like they could have done the same stream if they wanted to do it, still take the money, but donate the money privately because this was just a setup for disaster. Yeah. I, yeah. And like we talked about it before, but I'll just say. I think generally it is a bad thing that this money did not get donated to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Agreed. Uh, Children's Hospital, like, regardless of the reason, um, I don't know. I just don't personally believe that money coming from people who, like, let's just say you have somebody who's absolutely, you think is absolutely horrible. Yeah, it's but like, I feel okay, like Okay, I'll agree shouldn't... with you on that, but it's like... If they're going to donate money to charity, I don't see why they should be stopped from doing that. Also, like, why why would you make yourself such an easy target, though, to get taken down? Yeah, I guess that's a Is separate discussion, though. Like, like whether or not you agree with the action that was taken or whether or not it's like, well, at the end of the day, it's like, I don't think that money should have been blocked from going to. Yes. Agreed. Like I guess at the end of the day, you could blame the Wall Street Journal. You can yeah. blame the Wall Street Journal because it was an article that uh, I think uh, it was either one woman or like her and one other person I think that may have written this article, and they went to Saint Jude, uh, Saint Jude's Children's Hospital. I don't remember exactly. Did they pressure Saint Jude's to? They, they pressured YouTube to refund oh, the money. Pressured YouTube to refund the money. Yeah, yeah. Saint Jude's. Yeah. I don't think. You know, if they if they probably they probably would have just accepted the money on. They probably would have just been like, "What the fuck are you talking about? This get out of here." Yeah, who, who cares? Money. You know, children yeah. need this money, whatever. Uh, but yeah, no, I blame both the Wall Street Journal and I blame uh, Ethan for this. Mm -hmm. So yeah, regardless of what you think about it, what happened was uh, money was refunded and Ethan was shortly banned from YouTube. So what he did next was he moved the kill stream to a site. We were actually, we had to like dig deep because I remembered at the time uh, and, I, and then I forgot what this site was, but it was a site called stream.me. And at the time it was this tiny unknown streaming service uh, that barely had any users. It didn't really have much of an infra infrastructure to the site. Um, and it was perfect for what Ralph uh, did next, which was basically 
not like fully like taking over the site, but he basically moved the kill stream to the site, imported his fan base over. Like I remember at the time downloading the app so I could, you know, continue watching it live because I was pretty yeah. captivated by it. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, um, because Ralph got a YouTube ban, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. Yeah, he got banned from YouTube. Yeah. Why do, do we know why he got banned exactly? Or I think it was because of the pressure and the attention that was brought from that article. But also, mm -hmm. I think I th from what I remember, they just got a bunch of strikes. Like I think that either got them completely banned or earned them a strike, and then you know, wasn't YouTube banning a bunch of people around the time too? A I, bunch of right wing I think people. So. Right That's what people. I mean. I think I think they pretty much got banned as a result of uh, the article being written. I could be wrong though. Yeah, yeah, because the YouTube is a little hazy on it. Well, the YouTube ban happened like uh, the the heel stream was like late twenty eight uh, September, yeah, and then the YouTube ban happened in November. So yeah, it, it probably was something to do with the heel it stream. It wasn't. It wasn't long after. Yeah, but yeah, so they moved the show to stream dot me, and there were issues. There were immediately issues. Um, he pretty much overnight, from what I remember, became like the biggest streamer on that platform um, by a pretty considerable margin or degree, whatever you want to say. Um, most of the other users on the site had pretty comparatively smaller followings. Um, and there were issues with Ralph following the site's rules. Um, although the show on the site was pretty successful and brought a lot of new users, um, the people who were running the site were kind of unsure about it and they communicated with Ralph over the next couple or I think several months. It was a few months to several months when he was on this site. Um, and there was a lot of back and forth and a lot of issues, but eventually, um, people just went too far. There was like weird shit. And I don't know if these were people who were like trying to fuck with Ralph at the time or, I don't know. Uh, it, it was it was definitely odd. We pull up this article here to kind of explain uh, what was going on at the time. So I remember when this happened. Uh, one day I went to go open the stream.me app, and then it just didn't work. And I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, and I thought it was, there was a problem with the app, but no, the whole thing got shut down. So this article here, the title is "Twitch Competitor Stream.me Gone." after threats against owner's kids. And you can see here, there's this chart where the there's this massive bump. And it says, how popular is stream.me? And I'm pretty sure that that bump was from Ralph joining the site and more people using it and more eyes on it. I could be wrong though, but I'm pretty sure uh, that's what happened. Yeah, Ralph has, like, the reverse Midas touch here. Yeah. Uh, so the abrupt disappearance of Texas-based streaming platform Stream.me earlier today has set the internet ablaze with speculation. The rapidly growing live streaming site first aired out with a 404 not found, then a 403 forbidden, and users soon noticed that all Stream.me apps had been removed from the app stores as well. With no updates from the staff, the live streaming world quickly developed a comprehensive mythology of conspiracy theories. A popular theory advanced on some talk show streams held that the streaming platform was merging with Ice Poseidon's upcoming scuffed.com, blah, blah, blah. That was not the case. Uh, others claim the site had been deplatformed at the domain registrar level. But Ethan Ralph, host of Stream.me's biggest channel and known associate of the site's owners, just now reported via a provisional YouTube edition of his Killstream show that he has spoken to them and been given the real reason for the disappearance. Quote, what is going on is there's a board on 8chan. They doxed, they doxed the owners of Stream.me, said Ralph, referring to the uh, cow board on the infamous image board, popular with edgelords, neo-Nazis, and communists. They doxed their family. There were calls made to the owners saying, we know where your kids go to school. We know where they live. And they decided to pull the plug on the entire site. The owners' wives also received photos of themselves covered in trolls' semen, a practice called tributing. <laughs> they, they call Show tributing? Some trib picks? Yeah. Whoa. Bruh. The stream.me owners have a lot of other business interests, he continued. I would call it a vanity project, and it's run at a loss, so I certainly understand them just saying, fuck this, it's more problem than it's worth. 
Referring to the streaming platform's future, Ralph said the stream.me owners were going to have a meeting about it on Wednesday, but he rated the chances of it coming back at all. Very slim. Uh, yeah, the site never came back. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. Um, as you said, kind of like the reverse Midas touch there. Oh, I closed the stream. Let me fix that in a moment. But yeah. Uh, after the shuttering of stream.me, Ralph moved the kill stream once again, this time to crypto based live streaming website DLive, where he once again became the most prominent channel overnight by importing his existing audience into the platform. Uh, the show continued on uh, on DLive uh, for, I think, like several months or even longer after that. It was actually quite successful, relatively speaking. Uh, next, we're going to talk about Knoxville quickly. I'm actually going to go take a piss. If you guys have anything. You want to say before we get into Knoxville, go ahead. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly okay. take a piss and grab water. I'll be right back, boys. Rusty, how many cub cum tributes have you posted? <laughs> Endless, uh, but give me one second, too. I'll be right back. One second. All right, I guess I'll talk to Chad. If Chad's uh, doing anything, I guess I'll just scroll up. Uh... Matt Jarbo. Uh, any Monday and Matt fans in the chat here? Probably not. Yeah, I completely forgot about DLive. There's a lot of these uh, like offshoots of like Twitch that just never really went anywhere that I think are still around. Uh, if you guys are wondering where Ralph is now, I think he's on a uh, robot streamer. Like some some website where I've seen guys like huff air duster and like uh why like literally like pull their dicks out and start beating off. So like yeah, R Ralph's on a on a website that suits him now. Yeah, yeah, I saw them doing that. Um, I saw when, like, the guy was, like, about to, like, pull out his dick and, uh, like, the dude was, like, huffing a gassy rag or something, like, it was, like, a rag covered in, um, like, cleaner or something. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, what's up? I, I heard, uh, huffing gas and jacking off. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about the current platform Ralph's on. So Ralph has been like uh, banned from uh, he's been banned from Odyssey, D Live, I think Rumble, Rumble. yeah, uh, Twitch, YouTube, um, uh, Kick. He's he's gone from. Oh most wow, platforms. he got booted from Kick, huh? Yeah, he got booted from Kick. Um, and that's a crazy thing. Like Kick doesn't just ban people like um like that at least. Like, if you're, like, a big streamer like Neon, like, Neon literally threatened to, like, molest a child. What? <laughs> well, okay, he didn't... The way he said it, though, he said, like, he, he, he threatened to, like, mouth fuck, like, some kid. <sighs> what? Because it was, like, out of uh, anger. I don't think he meant it like that. Was he that, just giving like, a general, I'm gonna fuck your face like you're on Xbox yeah, Live type of shit? Yeah, like, shit like that. But still, like, you don't say that to a 12-year-old. No, for sure. Absolutely. But, yeah. Okay. Our Axis Dorito bag, you think it was Windex Cleaner? I think it was like 409, but I'm not sure. All right. Here we have Ralph uh, bussing it down on Knox uh, at Knoxville, I should say. Yeah, this is <laughs> you guys some, see that? This is yeah. some found footage of... of yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this was from. Found Probably footage some... of uh, Notorious Cryptid Ethan Ralph. Yeah, well, he's Crip walking here. So, for people who weren't around and don't remember, we have to give some context. Um, did either of you guys ever watch the Kumase, uh, the Kumite, or did the you know much? Kumite. Yeah, did you ever know much about Tonkasa? Were you uh, more? Uh, familiar I with watched. That shit? I watched a little bit of the show, mostly because like Jim would go on every once in a yeah. while. But it was uh, it was with Tonkasa, and it was with uh, his co-host Failure, I believe. Do you know that um, Paul's ego went on there once? Did you ever see that? Yeah, you told me about that, but no, I could probably yeah, I could probably find it though. But it was basically like a kill stream clone, if I remember right, right? Yeah, well, internet blood sports was a thing at the time, not really a yeah. thing anymore to the same degree. Yeah, but it's like, basically blood... people would just go on and scream at each other. 
Yeah, yeah, they would just get like vicious. Like uh, instead of like, it, it would be like they'd host a debate, but the debate would always break down. They just start name calling. Yeah, not a, like an and, actual debate, but yeah. Yeah, and you guys saw like the video, like the previous video where like Ethan's yelling at like Nick Fuentes. Um, that was basically like blood sports, and like also like um, hi, uh, f- like future co-host like Andy Worski. Um was uh hosting a blood sports between like uh ethan and uh nick in 2019 Mm -hmm. um but yeah so the beef happened with uh so andy uh was friends with the guys from the morning kumite he would host their show their podcast the morning kumite on his channel um and essentially they got into a fight over um i guess uh like a guest i think it was over mediker and uh soon they kind of like devolved into name calling. And um, so uh, Tonka saw like alleged that like uh, Andy was a pedophile. Basically. And Classic. yeah, you know, typical Internet shit. And uh, Tonka saw is an Internet tough guy, right? So he threatens to like kick everyone's ass. He's been, he'd been doing it for like a solid year. Right. And then Andy was just mad enough at him. And so basically, uh, like uh, Tonka was doing his Internet tough guy thing to some other dude. And then uh, like the dude was like, yeah, I'll fight you. And then uh, Tonka was like, well, I got to fight Worski first. And then fucking Worski was like, I'll fucking fight you. You ruined my fucking life. I will kill you. (laughs) So, uh, yeah. So then Worski uh, did a stream where he actually formally announced that he would fight Tonka saw. Uh, and so what ended up happening there was uh, Tonka did every fucking thing he could to get out of the fight. He didn't believe that the fight was going to happen until they started like booking everything. Yeah, there was and, uh, so there was so much bullshit. Not to cut you off, but I remember. And yeah. he he fucked up filing the paperwork because it was an official uh, UFC bout. I would think I think it was like one of their minor divisions. I'm not sure how it works, but it was like obviously not the official sh- uh, like, he- UFC shit. He fucked or up not his the blood. official, but not like the mainstream, like uh, big fights or anything. Obviously, yeah, yeah. He fucked up his blood work too, and people were speculating that Tonka saw had AIDS. Yes, I, I <laughs> wanted to bring that up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Tonka was like, "Yeah, Andy's not even going to show up. They're going to test him. They're going to drug yeah. test him. They're going to find out that he has coke in his system. He's not going to be able to fight." It was and basically a, they were like, "It was a huge thing at the time, like them going to Knoxville and this yeah. fight going down." Yeah. Yeah, this happened, like, the Knoxville fight was set for uh, January 2019. 2018, 2019. Um, or, no, 2019, but the 19th of January, or the 18th of January, whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh, Tonka did everything uh, in his anyway. power. Andy came all the way from Canada, but, like, Tonka lived in Kentucky, and Tennessee is, like, one state over. Yeah. He could have driven to that event. And so uh, we can we can play the video of how that uh, how that ended up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we do have to give a little bit more context, though. So, before, because we are going to play the video in a second. Before that, um, so, they, like as you said, they went to Knoxville. And they went to the event, but Tonka did a no-show. And um, the winning team, quote-unquote, came out, uh, arrived in the ring. They were very triumphant. They all mocked uh, Tonka Soft for not showing yeah. up. Who was, who was the winning team? I think I listed it in uh... Oh shit, you're cut out for a second. Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Um, I listed who was the uh, winning team in the document. Well, sorry, the what in the document? You keep cutting out. Oh shit. I don't um, know why. The wi- winning team. I might have to draw off. Hold on. Oh, it was... Um, yeah, if anything, just uh, dip out the call and then come right back, see if it fixes it. Fucking dick sword, man. What are we looking at here? Can you see this? Yeah, I can see it. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, you sound better. Okay, thank God. Uh, this hold on, is, hold on, hold on. This is the Andy hey. Worski entrance. We have to specify something before you play the video. So people are also saying that uh, Tonka was in a wheelchair. He was wheelchair bound because he was yes. a jobber. He was a jobber for some, like, low-level wrestling gig. 
So he got the shit just pummeled out of him. So like he's like paralyzed from like the neck down or something. <laughs> saying Andy Worsk is making his way to the cave. And yes, this is Ralph. Uh, we have to talk about the Jay Caesar thing. Oh so God, like, I see. Well, people are gonna be like, "What the fuck is Ralph?" Wearing? Look, there's Coach Red Pill. Yes, at the very left corner. Holy Did, fuck! Didn't he get killed in Ukraine or something? Or he yeah, died? He, got, he, he died yeah. in Ukraine. Died from in pneumonia. a Ukrainian prison. <laughs> From pneumonia, yes. Bruh. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, and then we have two pedophiles wheeling out Eddie, <laughs> a, a Andy Worski. <laughs> Look at Ralph. <laughs> yes, but he's he's wearing like a fucking uh Look how short Ralph is. Like a like a parody of like a or like a fucking yeah, stereotypical like Roman fucking robe or whatever. Because he had a Pornhub account that got People realized it was like his porn up account. It was called like J Caesar. It was J Caesar one eight seven. Yeah. So what and happened was, with that? Yeah. Oh, so, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Someone uh, he shared his screen, and someone found out that he had an email called J Caesar one eight seven. And so people did some digging. And they found out that he had there was a Pornhub account called J Caesar one eight seven. Yeah. And it was like full of like black cuckold porn. Yeah. Well, Pornhub. Uh, <laughs> no. If, on your account, there's a there's a thing where if you watch it, a video, it goes into like videos that this person's watched. And, no, no, and no, unless he, somebody turns it off, there's a there's a fucking thing on there. You saw okay. his comment. You you could see his comment on one of his videos where he's oh, like, "Oh yeah, God, I love her pussy." <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he was trying to like lean into the meme because it became a meme. So he was wearing yeah. this outfit. Chris, yeah, Chris uh, Worski's not paralyzed. Tonkasaw was paralyzed, and that's why he didn't show up because he's a wheelchair yeah. bound. They're making fun of yeah. the guy that didn't show up to the fight. Yeah, yeah. his opponent Tonkasaw did not show up. <laughs> Try not to get fucking a copyright claim here. So Andy Worski here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you may or may not have heard that we were supposed to have a YouTube grudge match tonight. His opponent did not show up for the reasons that are on Facebook. We made a really long post about it. The reasons that are on Facebook. <laughs> He's been training for his fight. I'm going to hand the mic over to him and let him discuss his feelings. Thank you. Dead air. <laughs> this guy, Tonka Saw, has, has challenged about 50 people online to fight. It's saying he was a UFC champ, MMA, and he, I was the first person to be like, all right, yeah, I'll do it. And he's tried everything in his power to make this match not happen. And I called the bluff one after another. And you know what? I want to say that I'm not a fighter, but after training for the past three months, almost every single day, I respect the fight game. I respect the fighter. The fight game. Andy Worski, uh, he certainly has a way with words. <laughs> Also, I love that this video is on a channel called White Trash Connection. <laughs> that made me laugh so fucking hard. I respect the people who come out of here and even get their ass kicked, because I was willing to come out here and get my ass kicked, Tonka. Where you at? I flew from Canada. He lives in Alabama. One state oh, away. Shit. Low T Tonka. I was wrong. I said Kentucky. Yeah, who who, who fucking cares? Same yeah, shit. Same shit. Where are you? I spent every day drinking protein shakes and creatine shakes. This guy was busy drinking soy. So I like how he had a voice crack <laughs> when he said that. <laughs> drinking soy. <laughs> soy. <laughs> Stop. And now he's hidden. Now you guys can go fuck yourself. He's hot. He, he <laughs> won't show his face. But I gotta say, after all the training, I still want to fight somebody. I am going to fight someone in the upcoming months. We will make it happen. Because I, I just need to now. I need to fight, I fight need someone fight. eventually. I just need to yeah. fight somebody. <laughs> so, cliff note. So Andy would eventually fight someone, I think in either 21 or 22. 
uh, he did a boxing match against a uh, against a TikToker where he got laid the fuck out in ten seconds. <laughs> but he made some he made some money from from it. Made Keemstar some money too. So, uh, Cyrax's Doritos bag says would have definitely paid for a PPV of Andy fighting a wheel wheelchair bound Tonka. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you. Tonka. Do we even need to play more of this? Let's see. Hold on. Oh uh, yeah, play, or play Tonka more of it. for making me a better. Oh yeah, we have the clip of Ralph. Yeah. Version of myself. Daddy, no. You know what? Let's just let's just skip to that. Skip to this. No, skip to Dick actually. Masterson. Yeah, skip should, to. Should Max. I play what what a Dick's uh, part of the speech? Yeah, play. Tonka, play don't here, step man. to a man. Never challenge a man. We got a man right here, Tonka. Low T, Tonka. You take that to your grave, buddy. Yeah, you see Ralph just like, she's like, I want the mic now. Give me that fucking mic. It's my turn. He goes to hand it back and Ralph just grabs the mic. Arkansas is bitch made. Daddy, no! <laughs> we have fucking, is that Gator in the back with the fucking... Wait, uh, uh, yeah, with the mask. mask Actually, I, I have a picture of Gator. I don't want to dox Gator, though. But yeah, Gator, Gator was doxed. Dude, take... or... Dude, he takes his mask off at some point. He Wait, shows in the video? Face. Yeah, oh, he shit. shows his face at some point, I'm pretty sure. Like you said to me, Tonka, the God, last Gator's thing I heard you bad. say before I started training like a man. I mean, maybe he doesn't. I, don't know. I, I, I watched it earlier when I was pulling everything. I'm pretty sure he did. You said don't ever step up to a man, but you ain't here, and I've been stepping up. I'm a man, and don't you ever step up to a man. All right, I think, I think that's all we need to show from that. Yeah, that's it. Um, fuck. Are you sure? Are you sure we can't show the JC user thing? I actually did like the edit that I did there. Ah, uh, we you know okay. Here's the thing. We will we will discuss that and potentially show it. We show next. that or a, or a, or an updated version of it on the next one. Okay, that, Cause, that's cause fair. Because on the next one that we do, the part two, we have to show that, and we have to show PPV, or not PPV, PPP, PPP, excuse me, PP. Yep. Uh, yes, we have to show the clip of him saying that he's going to like lay his gun on Ralph's gun or whatever the fuck. <laughs> we have to show that clip, because that's hilarious. <laughs> he said he was going to make him slurp his gun crease. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's let's talk about that. So this happened in Knoxville. Wait, um, hold on. The infamous gun picture. Oh, sorry. Is there something you want to talk about before we get to? Oh, that? I was just gonna say before we show that, uh, we could show the uh, push up contest between Ralph and Andy, right? Oh yeah, you're gonna, to, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to send me the link to that. Uh, it's not in the document. Uh, it should be at the very end of the doc. Hold on. Uh, no, it's not. Uh shit. Fuck. Hold on. Yeah. You guys talk for a second. It shouldn't take me long to find this. <laughs> I'm just excited to see more gut. I like that really happy one at the beginning of the stream. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, the gunt, the like rainbow gunt emote. That's great. Some good oh, stuff. you know what we also didn't show? We didn't show the video of him eating a burger out of the trash. Well, that, <laughs> that that's from later on. We need to show no, that. No, that's from, that's from Knoxville. Is it from Knoxville? That's yeah, that was from the trip for, to uh, oh, Knoxville. Fucking, you need to send that then. You need to link that because uh, oh. he's eating the trash burger. Fuck, I've got to fuck it. Uh, but yeah, uh, I can uh, just uh, I can just uh, explain the gun situation here. The gun situation with this uh, rage pig individual. So while uh, Ralph and others were in Knoxville, um, a fan. Uh, had a picture taken with Ralph and Dick Masterson. I think Coach Red Pill is there too. We're going to look in a second. But uh, regardless, um, the Gunt made its first uh, appearance that was documented. Uh, and what that is, is it's Ralph's fucked up gut that like hangs down under his shirt. And it was particularly prominent in this photo because Ralph's arms were up like this like over people's sh shoulders the image became a huge meme spawning uh countless edits and remixes there's like the emote that we saw earlier it's haunted ralph to this day and this is where the whole gunt thing uh, comes from so let me pull up the picture here we can take a look at it let me know gourd when you have uh everything else. oh i i said uh, i sent oh, uh, everything 
on uh, the Discord. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. So, first of all, we're going to look at this picture not zoomed in. Actually, you know what? First, we're going to zoom into Ralph's face. He, he yeah. looks fucked in this photo, dude. Like, he's already, like, looking rough. He's gained on That's... all... Gained back all the weight he lost from when he was in prison. Imagine that, that face saying, God, I love her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where's yeah, this? and then you see you see Diddler Dax there. Oh, um, shit. There oh, she God. is. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, boy. <laughs> Straight up testicle sack. <laughs> Just the, the, the way it's... It's so like lumpy. You said, like, the, like you said, the way it's bifurcated, it's hairy. Yeah, so looks what like happened a, looks here... Looks like a butt. <laughs> looks like a front yeah. butt. <laughs> yeah, saggy old lady front butt. So what happened here, and and we've speculated about this before, like on the last stream, is uh, he lost a shit ton of weight really fast in prison, because prison will do that to you. You're not... Yeah. You're, you're, you're restricted very heavily on calories uh, in jail. They don't feed you shit. So he loses a shit ton of weight, and then he just gains it back, and he probably yo-yos back and forth. Yeah. And, like, the weight gain and the weight loss causes, like, a shit ton of saggy skin. And also, like, he's an alcoholic, you know? So, like, it's, yeah. like, affecting the health of his skin, too. So, like, th this is the reason why it looks like this. Yeah, multiple reasons why, but yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys can see this, right? Make sure yeah. So like celebrate. after like here's the a push event, up contest. Yeah. Yeah. So after the event, they're all celebrating and stuff, and like Andy's feeling himself, and Ralph's also feeling himself too. So like I don't know who decided to do this. I think it was Ralph who said like I can do more push ups than you, Andy, even though you've been training to do a fight and you actually are in shape. That feels like a Ralph move. <laughs> yeah, Ralph would totally do that shit. Just to you know. So, how many push-ups do you think Ralph can do? Like, clean push-ups? Two. I haven't yeah, seen we'll this. See. Okay. I'll say four. I'll say four, too. I think it's actually four, and then he does, like, semi-push-ups, where he's like... Oh, no! It wasn't even one. <laughs> no, no, he's not doing... It wasn't even one. He's, yeah, not, the... he's not doing proper push-ups here. Yeah, look at the elbows. Hold up. Look at like Andy's elbows. We need to see this in an instant replay in like 0 0.75. He didn't get one. Look at his shoulders too. Like he's barely bending his elbows. He's got his shoulders like he's got his arms like way too high up for yeah. doing a push. -up. And he's got his arms at like a 90 degree angle. He's even slowing down on these. Yeah, he just starts doing clap push-ups. Just to mog Flex, him. Just flexing on him. Yeah, just mogging him. Oh, my God. Yeah, then he sees and he's like, his ego can't handle it, so he just gets up. Oh, no, he tries to... Yeah. Like, all right, we're ending it now. <laughs> yeah, to save himself any further embarrassment. Yeah. All right. Um. What? Oh, yeah, where's the garbage burger thing? Hold up. It's below, but you might want to skip around because it's someone breaking down the garbage burger. <laughs> it's from a channel called Recording Ralph. Will you be representing Ralph? Oh yeah, there's Nick Ricada. By the way, Nick Ricada got his uh, start uh, from the Knoxville stuff too, and you we're gonna be talking about Nick Ricada like later on uh, because like Ricada also triggers Ralph too. Everybody triggers Ralph. <laughs> These yeah, things. but like Ricade and him had a actual like falling out. Like they were cool, and they're actually friends with Dick Masters and both of them. Let's but see, yeah, where's the where's the eating? Go back, go back. Burger? Oh, it's back here. Yeah, go back here. Go back a little more. Yeah, Half eaten yeah. and sitting on top of other garbage. Here, I'll probably eat it. Fucking Monkey yeah. Jones! Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Oh man, it fucking brings me back. Oh. Is he still alive? He literally no, he... looks like uh... his channel is Simi and Jimmy now. I think. Oh, he so had to change it because of the. Uh... He got didn't banned he have, like... from YouTube, didn't he? He have a scandal or something. Pretty sure his channel. Oh man, dude. <laughs> I don't even know if we want to get into that. Like, didn't he? He like. Uh... 
was with this girl and then it was all weird and then there was like a sex tape they put out and then she left him for like an underage like seven 16 17 year old boy i don't even know it was a yeah, whole it was fucking thing. really strange like that it was a clusterfuck dude uh like grew from fucking despicable me <laughs> 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 He's I'll going show him. So Andy nachos. has a burger. Just... Yeah. Garfield has nachos like there. a fucking pig. Just eight fucking pounds of cheese and fucking chili. <laughs> I Disgusting. Nookers sing said out. Now you see this green light right here? There's a bathroom over here. And as you can clearly see, from here all the way through here, there's not a single door to get into the place. The cheeseburger out of the trash. No. <laughs> Has anybody? Now, fucking saw SoCal Chris throw it in the trash. Uh, uh, it was just a meme that I missed. Well, I don't know if it's a meme, but Monkey Jones was on my stream last night, and he said yes, he would, because uh, he really loves cheeseburgers. Just this hand right here. Oh, he's hiding he's the burger. He's walking over to Andy slowly. <laughs> very he's trying to, like, bomb it and hide it. Very slowly. <laughs> he puts his hand in his pocket. You could see him fishing around in his pocket. Uh, Andy says, "Ah, snap! Y'all are still on." Yes, this stream actually ended up being longer than I thought it would, which is actually pretty good. We got a decent, uh, substantial origin story of Ralph here. He picks the burger wrapper out of his pocket and puts it in his hand. He never bought that burger, and he never bought it in the store. He never went in the store. He came from the bathroom directly and walked past the trash. He was already eyeing the burger when fucking uh, when Chris was eating it at the, at the local food mart. <laughs> it's like some shit you'd see in a movie when they don't want to have like a copyrighted or like trademark name. So it's like food you'd, mart. You'd be surprised how many places are just named Mart. Yeah, well, and probably in America. This fucking dude literally the fucking burger land. Literally took a fucking the communist piece of Russia that Chris ate out of the mart. bathroom. <laughs> I didn't realize and they were in Moscow. Literally stole it and put it in his pocket. Put it out of his pocket. So I was just put a piece of burger. Now you see him. He's opening it. He's about to stuff it in his mouth. <laughs> now let's just speed it up. Look how fucking fat he is here too. Oh, like tomorrow. he's <laughs> no he's shoulders, right all now. fat, all chin. What the fuck? What what fucking burger place puts a little tiny piece of a burger in a giant wrapper like that? It was already eaten. This motherfucker took the burger out of the trash. <laughs> oh, what the Look at him. He's about to stuff it in his fucking mouth. He's eyeing the burger. Way, I shaved my chest. Look. Look him. He's ashamed. He knows he took it out of the trash. Kind of dark. Look. No, you can't do that on stream. Then he ate it. Whoa, whoa. Is, is then he comes up to Andy. So, I took a bit of a burger. Pump the gas. Let's go. Are we done? Is Worski smoking a lit cigarette next to a gas, gas pump? I for. know. What a fucking moron. Pump the gas. Yeah. Good old Worski. Cheeseburger bite in there. I just picked it up and ate it. He never <laughs> went to the store. He literally took it from the fucking trash can. <laughs> Classic Ethan Ralph moment. Oh man. So, yeah, uh, this was as, as, uh, I think it's, uh, Cyrex's Doritos bag said in the chat, I believe this was like basically the peak for Ralph. Like he still made money and still had a successful stream to an extent yeah. for a while after and this, but this is when everything started to fall apart and people like at first it was people just fucking with Ralph and making fun of him, but when oh, the yeah. whole gunt thing started and then progressed and he just kept getting made fun of for it, he could not fucking take it. And it really started to show everyone who was watching the kill stream that you know, he didn't have a, he couldn't have a sense of humor about it. He couldn't just laugh at himself. He would try, but it was obvious he was just coping. They saw that he wasn't really the Ralph a male. Well, no. the Ralph Amell meme didn't come until like way later um, when he was. I think he was on fucking cozy uh, when he started doing that stupid Ralph Amell shit. Mm, no, I I think no? it, I think it was a thing that. for a while before that. Yeah, yeah. really? I think That's what I'm I heard pretty about sure it. you're wrong about that. Yeah. OK, not, yeah, to, not so... to just call you out. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you're wrong. It was a thing uh, for I, a while. I'm pretty sure it was uh, a thing for a while. I would uh, disagree. Uh <laughs> 
But uh, yeah, so like that's not the only domino to fall. But like, yeah, the Gunt is the first domino to fall. And like and you can see like this is peak Ralph and Ralph is still doing like fucking stupid ass shit. Right. Like there is so Ethan. much more to come. Oh, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> we're I'm, I'm going to play this uh, after we say our goodbyes and I'll just let it play us out. <laughs> it'll, okay, set us, it'll set us up for the next part, which I think we should do. Let, let's let take next week off from doing the show because we've done it like every week for almost like the past like two or three months. Yeah. So, do you guys just want to instead of like doing the show, you just want to come together and just like plan the next yeah, stuff? Yeah, 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 for sure. Or we could just watch like some random bullshit. Like we could look at Cindy next week or something. Or you know what? Actually, let's let's do let's do a full like hour at least on Cindy next week because we got some stuff we need to look at. Actually, dude, you trip? Uh, not trip to mean, uh, Rusty. You gotta you gotta Cindy pill me because like I'm almost there. But like I'm leaning on the edge, right? Have you ever, Gord? Have you ever watched the stream that we did on Cindy, like the first one? The first one, I I went through bits of it. Like I I'm showed up. Telling you, dude, sit down, watch that stream, and then look at the Cindy content that we've done on the Law Cow Hour. Like okay, the the episodes that we've done so far, because it's mostly been me and Rusty like laughing at her shit. So it'll it'll get you more acquainted with her, definitely. Okay. It's worth the look. It's it's it, unless it's digested and, and fed to you that way. It's you kind of can't watch it. But that that Cindy know. stream is one of my most successful pieces of YouTube content in terms of like the one with me, you and Goose. Yes, it's got a it's got like a couple thousand views. We should try to get Goose back on here sometime. For, oh yeah, definitely for live streams on my channel. Like that's a decent amount of views, pretty good amount of views. Okay, so you guys have any final thoughts about Ralph? For, for this part, at least? Yeah. yeah. Um, Man, I'll just say this, because from now on, we're definitely going to do a part two. We might even do a part three. Oh, um, I foresee a part three. Oh, or maybe even part four. three for sure, yeah. 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 Cyrax I think Ralph is, uh, at this point... Sorry. Dude, no, go ahead, dude. Go ahead. I, I think at this point Ralph was just you know a kind of a big fucking goof. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, he fuck. went to prison oh, yeah. for some shit, but he was yeah. more or less just a fucking goof. As you know, compared to what's coming down the pipe here, where it gets fucking dark. Yeah, yeah. By the way, Cyrax's Dorito bag. What he what he's talking about is his DSP moment when he was caught jacking off on sc- on stream. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and then do you know what's crazy about that? Like in a later stream, he was like, "Yeah, I'll jack off on camera if we reach the goal." <laughs> Oh man, Ralph OnlyFans coming in nicely, tubes. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> gonna do that spicy content. Um, but yeah, um, he he had the easiest fucking like ri- like free ride ahead of him if he would have just kept doing this show and like kept things stable on his end. Because like we talked about earlier, um, the kill stream really succeeded, but like with the co-hosts and the guests and that's what really drove the show it wasn't really like ralph himself that was you know bringing people in or making the show you know at the time you know what it was or generating any like great content ralph was the face of the show though um undeservedly because like he didn't even run his own show like uh zader and gadan uh zidane ran (laughs) zader and (laughs) gadan yeah yeah gator and zidane ran the show um primarily gator like was like running all the technical stuff in the background if you watch any like recent ralph stuff ralph is just inept oh it's terrible yeah, yeah, he is unable to run his own show. We'll see that when we get to uh, what was it, the bowling event, and then his wrestling match. Oh my god, dude! We I want to see the fucking uh, the kingpin bowling event. There is so much funny shit that happened in that event. Like Destiny was there. He fucking maced a guy who was like, "Yeah, I was 18 years old when I fucked a 13 year old." <laughs> yeah, I dig it. Oh um, my god! He was like, "You're a tag it." We so you're good now. You're cool with me. Even though you did that fucking thing, and you used him as an excuse for it. Oh shit! Um, you're starting to go robot mode. Uh, anything else uh, you guys want to say? Or is, I think I think that's pretty much it for part. Yeah, that's one. it for tonight, man. Yeah. No, as you were saying, 
yeah, as you were saying, it gets much darker from here. But, you know, what I was trying to do, and we were talking about this before, what we were trying to do and what I was thinking about doing with this one is, you know, explain, you know, where Ralph started, why he's even, you know, worth talking about in the first place. Because it can get pretty all over the place and chaotic talking about what Ralph has gotten up to in, like, the last four years or so. Like, it, oh, gets, it gets mental talking about all this shit, that all these was, different that, characters. That was the previous stream we did. Uh, we tried to pack, in, like, too much stuff into one yeah. stream. Yeah. It, yeah. And, and it was just executed poorly, even though we had the content. Yeah. And that's the thing, too. Like, when we were talking earlier, like, we're about to end this up at around an hour and 45 minutes. I thought this was going to be, like, 45 minutes to an hour. But, you know... uh it is what it is i think i'll say this um that stream that we we tried to do the stream before as we mentioned earlier but uh i deleted that um not too long after we uh did the stream because i felt that it wasn't up to wasn't up to snuff but i think we did a much better job tonight uh i, I, I think we actually so hit too. the nail on the head with this especially compared thought- to the previous version yeah, and I'm gonna say this: there were some comments and that you talked about where uh, people oh, yeah. were doing like paragraphs long about some of the stuff we kind of like we messed up. Like we messed up some of the Ralph lore, and yeah. we might have messed up some Ralph lore this time. So if uh, please, like, yeah, leave another comment. We'll we'll correct ourselves in the next stream. Yeah, let us know. Also, tell us in the comments what you think of Abby Shapiro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell us what you think of those. Uh, uh. <laughs> them milkers yeah anyway guys it's been fun yes you guys have a good one i will talk to you later you guys have a good night oh shit catnip anonymous i can barely see my eyes are so fucked up mr ralph isn't too high society for a delicious burger that just happens to be rescued from the trash that's how he what? That's how he grew up big and strong. Oh, grew up big and strong, you meant to say. Like a hefty bag of cottage cheese. Thank you very much for the $10 tip. I appreciate it. You've actually sent quite a few tonight. I really appreciate it, dude. I can tell you uh, like the subject matter, or at least enjoyed the stream. Uh, very much appreciated. Uh, we are going to uh, end here. I'm going to play us out with a video from a very famous internet man uh big man tyrone talking about ethan's gunt just waiting for the um very delayed streamlabs thing to come in so it doesn't interrupt our ending <laughs> god it's so fucking delayed these days i don't know why this is i'm fixing the holler it sounds like this <laughs> something like that uh holy fuck i got piss all right. Abby Shapiro's because our milker, milker is a great lol cow coverage from Kid Wizard and the team. Yes, thank you. I'm just going to fucking play this. Fuck the goddamn thing interrupting it. <laughs> Whatever. It is me! The third man! Yes! I'm your father! And I had to abandon you! Look at your gaunt. What self-respecting black man would acknowledge this as his son? (laughs) And don't get me started on your girlfriend, Shannon.